Okay, so now that we've uh, finished the cap on the end of the main pipe here, that's providing a stop for our injection reel. It does go in there. Like so. If you move on to the next pipe, you go in here, now you'll see the diameter of uh, this pipe here is a little larger going in here so it actually gave some room so what I've done is taken a length of PVC pipe there and just split it so that I can get it over that pipe and so that when I slide it down here it takes up the slope nicely and primarily to keep this pipe here centred in here more importantly it'll be interesting to see what happens once we fit the heaters to this end of this pipe which obviously goes this way once we fit the heaters to end, this end of the pipe it'll be interesting to see whether this PVC pipe here uh, melts um, so what I'm going to do much the same as I did on the cap here is to just drill a series of holes and tap around this here to um, secure that with the same uh, I think they were M4, M5 uh, screws. So we'll mark that up and get those drilled.
There we go. Okay, so you can see there now that's nicely secured. Okay, so just to show you what I've been doing there, the next step I wanted to work on was uh, the actual cylinder, uh, sorry, the piston that's going to push push our plastic down there. It will attach to our pneumatic ram here. So, and for that, the piston needs a tongue on the end. You see that, which will go into that joint there. Like so, and that's just over a 9mm gap and I didn't have any 9mm steel so I just welded a couple of bits of steel together there to form that tongue. There I am, there. So now it's just a matter of drilling a hole in the centre of that, corresponding to the pin. And that'll slide in there, it's just a perfect fit into uh, the end of there. And then we'll weld that into the end of our piston. Okay, for this pin we need a hole using the gasometer here, 8.7, with a 9mm hole, give it a little bit of clearance. There we go. Jobs are good in.
camera work. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. So the next step is to decide uh, how long this piston needs to be. Let's see if it's inside there like so. Of course obviously it's going that way. We look at it, line this piston up, fully extend that. Fully extend that. Sit in there like so. We can sit this piston in here like that. If it's even gonna go right to the end, we only really need it to be about I would say about that long. and it gives us a nice even finish on the end there. 